Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam and um, just wanted to share a few instruments that I've got with you. First of all, we've got a trumpet, we've got a valve trombone, we've got a slide trombone, got a flugelhorn, got a slide uh, trumpet, and we've got a flute. And uh, just wanted to talk to you for a little bit about doubling on instruments. First of all, it's good if you can be really good on one instrument. That's not the path that I've chosen. <laughs> But uh, really, the reason I like trumpet is because I find it such a challenge. I believe I'm probably a better vocalist, probably a better keyboard player than a trumpeter. But uh, I love the challenge of the trumpet, and I really like the instrument when it's done well. I just find it much more difficult than woodwinds, much more challenging, and uh, I've enjoyed working on it for years and will probably do so for a long time. I'm going to play kind of a bluesy number on each of these. It'll be the same thing give you an idea what it sounds like. Just a very, very bluesy little number. And uh, we'll just see how we do from instrument to instrument the uh, challenges thereof. Of course, that is the trumpet, and a close neighbor to the trumpet is the flugelhorn. Love the sound of the flugel, a very spread sound and a very soft sound. My wife does tire of hearing me practice the trumpet, but I was practicing the flugel one time and she said, now I like that. And uh, she also told me when I was playing Trent Austin, uh, demoing a uh, trumpet one time, she said, now that I like. No, I hate Trent Austin. Just kidding. Okay, we've got a valve trombone here, a whole lot easier than the slide trombone because the slide itself is a challenge. But we'll give you a shot with the uh, same f song. <laughs> I really like the valve trombone. The thing about the valve trombone is it's very heavy. I've got a little tenor that I'll be playing in a moment, very light. What really gives an instrument its weight is the valve block, the valve block. Uh, you take the valves out of a trumpet, you take the um, pistons, the valve caps, you take all of that off of a trumpet and I think your weight is probably about half. But when you start adding the steel that's on the valve pistons and uh, the top caps and the bottom caps and the finger buttons, then you get into weight. When you get into the trombone, which is a larger bore instrument, the valves are larger. So this instrument is quite heavy. Now the tone should be about the same on a small tenor um, trombone. And um, of course you do have to contend with the slide here, which I do find extremely challenging. And although I've worked on it off and on for a few years, um, still really, I find the valve trombone much easier. <laughs>
line is that little miscue on the end. That's about as good as you'll ever hear me play the trombone. One thing I love about the trombone, used to listen to Bill Pierce, a tremendous trombonist, uh, very, very popular in the 70s and 80s and 90s. You find some of his live recordings uh, on the uh, YouTube channel, I know. Tremendous. Love the vibrata. Fast vibrata with the slide. You can also mix a little vibrata from the diaphragm, and when you do that, you get just an unearthly, beautiful sound. But here's the vibrata that I like. <laughs> that's very slow and controlled like jazz, I guess they call it. No vibrata at all. Hold it out a long time, then let it be slow. I really just don't care for fast vibrata. Some of the greater trumpeters that have played through history, I just don't find their music all that appealing because the vibrata just uh, really kills me. Now, when I'm playing around on the instrument, sometimes if I've not had a lot of time to practice, it's very hard moving from the trombone back to the trumpet because you've got a big mouthpiece, then a small one. Eventually you get used to it, but you can always pick up a flute and kind of bridge the gap as you're getting used to move from one to the other. Enjoy the flute. It really saddens me that I spend so much time on the trombone and then pick up the flute and I find it relatively easy. I do find brass to be more challenging. I'm sure I've got a long way to go fingering on the flute for dexterity and it's a gorgeous instrument, but I just find brass to be a greater challenge. Now one of the hardest instruments I've ever seen, and uh, I, I've only seen one person that really did a good job on a slide trumpet. And um, this instrument is so hard. Another thing that I want to mention is, while it's extremely light, it's like a trombone with no valves, you do have uh, no lead pipe as such. And on a trumpet, the lead pipe is usually where you get a little resistance. I can play a large bore trumpet as long as the lead pipe is manageable. But with this, you just have a big hole and you're blowing through it. So if you like an open instrument, you'd probably enjoy this. But I'll tell you what, I find no forgiveness at all. If you're off by a fraction of an inch, it's just horrible. With a trombone, if you're off, the mouthpiece is big enough, it seems you can lip it. If you can hear it, you can hit that tone. Not with this. If you're off by a fraction, it's just horrible. And uh, I've just had this for um, uh, probably a couple of months and I've not spent that much time with it, but uh, I just I cannot stand the sound of myself practicing with it. Not an overly expensive instrument, but uh, I'm afraid that that's um, the challenge of a slide trumpet and that's why you don't see many people playing them, at least to be recorded because they're smarter than me. <laughs> and again, just to give you an idea, tone should be very similar to a trumpet. The one thing I like about it is the vibrata. It might sound a little bit like a synth, but I really like it. God help me, it sounds a bit like a slide guitar. <laughs> At any rate, we again have a trumpet, we've got a flugelhorn, we've got a valve trombone, a slide trombone, a little bit of flute, and of course the 
ever difficult slide trombone. Hope you've enjoyed the comparison of the three. If you have, leave a comment, say hi, pass it on. It's great fun playing with brass, at least most of the time it is. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me.